Welcome, everybody. Thanks for coming tonight. I'm Suzanne Sparge, the Executive Director of 506 Arts, and we're so glad you're all here for this public forum called Growing the Creative Core. Um, the exhibition that you see around you is called Heart of the City, and it's an exploration of the urban environment. It's created uh, through a series of collaborations with lead artists and student and youth apprentices from many different organizations, both high school and college age students. And um, let's see, this show is on both floors. It's up through May 3rd. A few quick announcements. The next event after tonight is a, called a Pecha Kucha, which is a, um, I guess it's, is it an architectural term? It's the first I heard of it when it came up for the show, but it's apparently a common format for presenting ideas sort of rapid fire with a small number of slides and uh, short presentations. So that's a little bit like what tonight will be like, but uh, City Lab across the street, which is a partnership between the city of Albuquerque and the University of New Mexico um, School of Architecture and Planning, they will be hosting it on February 27th uh, across the street at 7 p.m. And that will be a series of short presentations about downtown. The students will be focusing on their ideas, visions, and commentaries about our urban core. Um, the, all of the programs for Heart of the City um, are listed in this guide, if you haven't already gotten one. And one I'd like to especially announce is the keynote speaker, who's a special guest, Rick Lowe from uh, Texas, who will be coming to speak about Project Row Houses. It's a really uh, fantastic project that transformed an urban blighted area into an incredible arts community. So he'll be coming to speak about that at the Outpost Performance Space. Thank you to Tom Brownick and the Outpost for hosting. And that will be on April 19th at the Outpost. Um, let's see. The book that you may have seen for Axel Contemporary, this project on your right, is a project created about Albuquerque. These are over 600 faces of our uh, Albuquerque citizens, and there's a book that goes with it that's available upstairs for sale, and uh, it's really sort of a great uh, love letter to Albuquerque, I think, that the artist Jerry Wellman and Matthew Chase Daniel created by coming here to photograph, photograph us all and bring us together into this exhibition in the book. Um, I'd like to thank our funders. I have to look at my list. Uh, Bernalillo County and especially County Commissioner Lonnie Talbert. Um, the City of Albuquerque Cultural Services Department, the Public Art and Urban Enhancement Program and 1% for Art. The Fund at Albuquerque Community Foundation. NPN, the Visual Artist Network, and New Mexico Arts, a division of the Office of Cultural Affairs. Um, so, the setup for tonight. Um, each of our presenters will do a five minute presentation with five slides. They're gonna go in alphabetical order and introduce themselves. Then at the end of the presentation, Sherry Brueggemann, who's the manager of the City of Albuquerque Public Art Program, will be moderating a Q&A with all of you here. So the panelists will come up and sit in these chairs at the end. Um, thank you to Sherry Brueggemann for playing that role tonight. And also thank you to Benito Aragon from New Mexico Mercury, who's here recording. Let's hear it for Benito. <laughs> came out to the opening reception and braved the huge crowds and put together this terrific video montage. We had over 1,200 people here at the opening and it was really great energy. So <laughs> it's wonderful to see how the community is turning out around the subject of our urban core and really thinking about it and participating. And without further ado, I'd like to welcome Hakeem Bellamy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 